Welcome to another lecture on scales. Today we will solve one more problem on plane scale. Let us read the statement. Construct a plane scale to read centimeters and decimeters. The scale should be long enough to measure up to 7 decimeters. The RF of scale is 1.5. Mark 6.5 decimeter on the scale. So we have to construct a scale which can measure up to 7 decimeters. So we know that whenever we have to solve any problem on scales, we first have to do the calculation of representative fraction. But in this question, RF is already mentioned to us as 1 by 5. So let us write RF equal to 1 by 5. Next step is we find length of scale. So the formula for length of scale is RF into maximum length of scale. RF is 1 by 5 and maximum length of scale is 7 decimeters. Now we will convert decimeters into centimeters. So for that we have to multiply it by 10. Then we will get the length of scale as 14 centimeters. So meaning of this is that if I draw a line of 14 centimeter on the paper that will actually represent 7 decimeters. So let us construct the scale. So first of all we will draw a line of 14 centimeters and this 14 centimeters are representing 7 decimeters. We know that we are drawing a plane scale that means we have to divide this line into some equal number of parts. So let us see how many parts we should make over here. In the previous lectures, we have made one thumb rule that if the maximum length of the scale is up to 10 or less than 10, then make same number of parts. In this case, the maximum length is 7 decimeters. So we will divide this length into 7 parts. This is a line of 14 cm and it is representing 7 decimeters. As we have decided to divide this line into 7 parts, then the length of each part will be equal to 2 centimeters, 14 divided by 7. That means the length of each part is 2 centimeters. And 7 decimeter divided by 7 means each part will represent 1 decimeter. So we have a part of 2 centimeters which is representing 1 decimeter. So let us show 7 parts with the help of scale. Now from the second marking, we will place the marking. So we will label it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seventh decimeter is on the left side of 0. So these are decimeters. How many decimeters? 6 decimeters. So this is a decimeter scale. Below it, with the help of guidelines and Gothic letters, we will mention decimeters. Next step is we will have to decide number of parts for this part of scale and that will depend upon what is the next unit I have to show. Next unit is centimeters. This is a part of one decimeter and we have to convert this into centimeter scale. For that we have to see the relation between decimeters and centimeters. We know in one decimeters there are 10 centimeters. It means if I have to convert this length into centimeter scale, then I have to make 10 parts over here. We know that this is a length of 2 centimeters. So if we will divide this into 10 parts, then length of each part will be equal to 0.2 centimeters or 2 millimeters and it will represent 1 centimeter. So let us make 10 parts over here. So these are 10 centimeters. So we label it as 10. So this is a centimeter scale. Below it we will draw two guidelines and we'll write centimeters in Gothic style. Then mark the midway marking and we'll complete the body of scale by drawing one centimeter lens on both sides. Then we'll connect these two with the help of continuous thick line and from all the divisions we'll draw 
continuous thick vertical lines to show different parts of the scale. Then below the scale, we will mention RF and LOS with the help of guidelines and Gothic style letters. Now let us answer the question. Now we have to answer or we have to mark 6.5 decimeters on the scale. 6.5 decimeter means 6 decimeter 5 centimeters. So let us pick 6 decimeters from decimeter scale. So from 0 to 6. You leave 1 millimeter gap, continuous thin line. Now we'll pick 5 centimeters from centimeter scale. So this is 5th centimeter. Above it, leave 1 millimeter gap and draw a continuous thin line. Then from object line, draw dimension line after leaving a gap of 10 millimeters. Then on both sides, we will add closed filled arrowheads and at the middle of the dimension line, we will label the value 6.5. So I hope the answer of this question is clear to you. Thank you very much.